Hello. Let's talk about logos. Let's assume you need a logo and let's assume you have no money and you have been tempted by Microsoft to go into word art and create something with like drop shadows and flares and laser beams and unicorns and glitter and 3D and reflections. Stop. Just stop. Don't do it. I am here to tell you that you can create a beautiful, elegant, really nice professional solution without spending any money. As long as you have a computer, you're on YouTube, so you probably do. Let me stop for a second and say that this does not take the place of hiring an expert agency, a firm, somebody who has spent years exploring the psychology of the marketplace and understands how to create a truly timeless, memorable brand and identity for your company. This is, I'm trying to start up a very small business. I have no budget. I need something that looks nice that will give me a professional image. That said, there's a couple of ways you can go. You can crowdsource your logo, which I don't recommend. That's when you go to sites like Etsy, which I love Etsy. I have an Etsy shop, love Etsy. But anytime that you crowdsource your logo for 50 bucks or five bucks or even a hundred bucks, you're gonna end up with creative that is very likely to be repurposed and reused for other businesses all over the place. And you may end up with somebody in your field with the same exact little swishy star mark that you procured from your crowdsourcing campaign. According to the immortal and much beloved Massimo Vignelli, uh, there are five essential fonts that you should stick to for your logo. Helvetica, Century, Futura, Times New Roman, and Bodini. Notice that there is no, no Comic Sans and no Papyrus. If you choose to explore a logo, with a mark. Don't use a swoosh, no globes, no little people going like this. Um, really, if you're not an experienced logo and identity designer, just stay away from creating a mark. Find a nice, clean, elegant font to use with just your company's name. Explore uppercase, all lowercase, Title case, that means the first letter of each word is capitalized and the rest is lowercase. And don't feel bad about using that if that's what you can afford because some of the most famous brands in our country are just text, just Helvetica. Look at places like Crate and Barrel. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to put this thought out there. Sorry that I'm running a little behind. I should have known better than to commit to daily vlogging when I'm working at an agency during the holidays because I was busy up in here. This is my lunchtime. Please leave any questions that you have about micro budget marketing materials down below. If you like this sort of chatter, please subscribe and like. It's around here. There, there. It's around here. Like, subscribe, please share. I wish you the very best with your adventure and I'll talk to you soon.